Hello, I'm Sarah McIntyre and today we're going to draw cardigan fawn. First I draw two lines that are sort of slightly curved like that. This is going to be cardigan fawn's body and then I'll cap them off at the top and the bottom and draw two smaller lines just inside those. Cap them off, give it some stripes to show it's a knitted jumper. Then two more lines just inside that, and then little hooks coming off, like that. And these will be Cardigan Fawn's ears. Another little line up, and we'll do his fringe, and it's kind of spiky, he's got messy hair. There's a little line, another line, more spiky hair. And we can color this in, make it nice and dark, stand out against the paper. That's a good trick in drawing is to make things like fill them in so then they stand out and it doesn't just look like a bunch of lines but it actually looks like something solid on your paper. There we go. It's black hair. And if you want you could even put little bits coming out here. Now we're going to draw his nose. A curve. And something cute is this, his smile just kind of comes up, sticks up from the turtleneck like that. Draw two little circles for eyes. And he's quite shy, so I have him looking out the side of his eyes. That looks him look very sweet. Oops. And little eyebrows if you can have the space. And then little lines in the ears, like that. Line. And then we're going to draw his legs, which stick out at the bottom of his body. So this line's gonna kind of follow the line of the sweater and then it's gonna curve around. And then we'll do a second line, just to thicken up those legs a bit. And little Vs right in the middle for the hooves, and then cap them off. Cap them off and color them in. And now, let's draw the arms. I'm gonna come up like this, and a second line, and cap that off, and add a little cuff and stripes. And then a second line. Thicken it up, cap it off, line and stripes. Sorry, and his fingers are really easy to draw. They're very they hardly stick out of the cuffs. Just little nubbins like that. That's an easy way to draw hands. Give people sleeves that are a little bit too long. And let's draw the cardigan itself. So we'll make this line go down like that. This line goes into that line, and right where it meets, let's draw a little button. And buttons all the way down, as many as you like. And a little cuff along the bottom, give it some stripes. Now let's give him some pockets. It could just be two pockets like I'm going to draw, or you could give him, I don't know, 50 pockets if you want. Spend ages drawing pockets and little things that are sticking out of them. Little lines to make. And if you want, you could even do little sort of, uh, what do you call it, pads on his um, elbows because he's worn through it. It's a very old favorite jumper. There we go, little stitches. And then you can just go crazy like absolutely designing all the jumper, all the stripes, polka dots, whatever you like. Oh, don't forget his tail. Little line coming out here, a jagged line to show the fur. A little bit of fur on his legs. And then we'll do a line underneath him so you can see what he's standing on. Bit of a shadow. And let's give some lines to show he's dancing. And the last thing you want to do is sign your name. So I'm going to sign Sarah McIntyre. And there you go. Hmm. Hang on. What's it missing? Oh, the horns. I forgot to draw the horns. <laughs> okay, here we go. They could be little tiny horns, but actually, in the book, they're big, curling around, proper goat horns. There we go. And you can give them stripes if you want. And the other horn. Ooh, nice big curl around there. That's it. That's Cardigan Fawn. And you can read more about Cardigan Fawn in Kevin's Great Escape by Philip Reeve and Sarah McIntyre. That's me. <laughs>
Do 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 do